The Supreme Court extends its blocking of a Texas law allowing police to arrest people suspected of entering the country illegally until Monday. The previous hold was set to expire today. Our Houston's Morning Show host, Lena DeFlorius, breaks down Senate Bill 4. The law was supposed to go into effect on Wednesday the 13th, but Justice Alito just put a stay and extended it until Monday the 18th. Texas has one of the most restrictive and controversial immigration laws on the books. The law says that any law enforcement officer across the state can arrest anyone they suspect being in the country illegally, and then it gives state judges the right to deport them. The issue is whether or not states can actually do that. Crossing the border illegally is a federal crime, and it's usually handled by federal courts and federal judges. But this new law in Texas also makes it a state crime. That means that state judges can actually make the decision on whether or not someone is deported. So the battle over the border has really become a battle between the state of Texas and the feds. The question is, is this up to the feds or can states come up with their own laws? A federal judge in Texas said, actually, you can't, saying it's unconstitutional because it goes against the supremacy clause of the Constitution, which says that federal law basically supersedes any state law. There was also some concern that if Texas were to come up with its own immigration laws, then the other border states like California, Arizona, and New Mexico would also want to come up with their own that don't necessarily align with the federal law. Texas filed an appeal saying that basically the state is under siege and has a right to protect itself. Then an appeals court said, yeah, sounds good to us. Texas, go ahead. Relatively quick order here. It worked its way up to the Supreme Court. And Justice Alito said, you know what? Everybody hold off while we decide what to do. Basically, they're deciding on whether or not that law can actually go into effect while they decide. Well, opponents of the law say it will lead to dangerous racial profiling here in Texas, where Latinos represent 40% of the population.